Welcome back, everybody. This is part three of the packet bulletin board system build on a Raspberry Pi. Today, we're going to look at adding users, configuring automatic connections or forwarding, if you will, as well as a couple of little pages in there for personalization of the bulletin board system. Stick around. All right, everybody, we are back. A couple of things that I want to point out to you before we get started is that if you'll kind of notice, I'm not using any type of VNC to remote into the Raspberry Pi for this video. I'm actually on my Windows machine, and this is the actual web page that's created by the bulletin board system that you can log into using your Raspberry Pi's IP address and port 8080-8080. Second thing I want to point out to you is if you look at the menu bar up here and compare it to the one that was in the previous video, you'll notice that we probably have one or two more options available to us now that we did than we did previously. I had an issue with the config file that I left the link for you to download. So I just took the config file from my old Windows bulletin board system and copied it over and pasted it in here and it worked perfect. So I do have a generic edited version that does not have any call signs, usernames, or passwords in it. And if you need it, send me an email and I'll send you a copy of it in PDF form. I'm good on QRZ, so just put a bulletin board config request or something like that in the subject matter and uh, I'll get it out to you as quick as possible. Now, I have already went ahead and signed in as SysOp. So we're going to go right on into mail management right here. That brings up this menu. Let's look at configuration. Now, I have previously set this up already. The call signs will be your call sign as SysOp. This will be your home route or your home bulletin board system address. It will be your call sign dot pound sign dot your state abbreviated dot us dot noam. And noam is a short abbreviation for North America. Uh, you want to make sure that send system messages to sysop call is selected and allow users to kill t messages the rest of this we will leave alone and hit save and come up here to users now the sysop call sign is default in there and I've went ahead and put my home BBS address in there. I've got the BBS selected, the SysOp selected, and allow sending bulls or bulletins. If you were to have a WinLink connection, you would select Permit Email RMS Express User and Poll RMS. The name is not necessary and password and QTH just your home bulletin board system and if you have the winlink connection to it you would put your winlink password here so we will hit update and that updates the sysop user i want to put in a new user which is then this is actually the second time i've had to do this so bear with me I want to put in Alpha Bravo 1 Charlie Delta and hit Add. You see it comes up with his. You permit a bulletin board system. And you would do this if you were connected and allowed them to do that. 
their home QTH, I'm going to say, is ab1cd.poundarizona.us.north America. And we would hit update. Now, if you had a user that did not run a bulletin board system, but the operator did connect to a bulletin board system to send and receive messages, what you would do is we'll put AB2CD in and add him, permit bulletin board system, and we'll put, let's just say he connected to AB1CD. So we would put AB1CD home bulletin board system address in there and hit update. That tells us that he has to connect through this bulletin board system to send or receive messages. So let's go to forwarding. KK4QAM, which is a sysop, was, was not configured. And I went ahead and configured it, but I want to look at setting up Alpha Bravo 1 Charlie Deltas. What we will put in is WN for wide network. We want to attach calls for four seconds just to make sure that there's no traffic going on. And then we will see H3 Paul AB1 CD. Dash one. Now remember, this station does not run an BBS, so we have to send his messages through a BBS that he connects to. This was AB one CD dot pound AZ dot US dot NOAM, and we put it into three locations. The timers, 21600, 21600, 10,000, check our protocols, 10,000, and update. That's how you add an automatic connection or automatic forwarding in the BBS. Let's go to messages, welcome messages, and prompts. Uh, this, whenever you connect, this is the information that comes across. You see the, the variable string I, and it's just a um, first name of the user. Now, you could change it to string U, and it would recognize them as the call sign so if you don't have the user entered in your in your user log then how are you going to know his name and we didn't add any names in the the user section so i changed that to you and we'll use the call sign of the user when you originally do it you this uh DE and your call sign will be here. I added this type question mark for help. What that does is when you you connect, you hit the question mark and hit enter. It'll list give you a list of commands that you can use to do different functions in the bulletin board system. So we're going to save this. And let's go to housekeeping. This is basically at whatever time UTC is set for 0, 100 right now, we could make it 1800. Every 24 hours, we're going to keep the max message number that we're allowed to reach is 60,000. The lifetime of the messages is the BID is 60 days. Log file time is seven days. Delete inactive users after zero days, which is, they're going to stay there. Uh, delete messages and logs to recycle bin. I do not check that one. 
Uh, you send the, the non-delivery messages for for P and T messages. I have that one on suppressed mailing of housekeeping result. I have that one checked because every day just after 1800 based on our time you're going to get a message of a housekeeping result and that kind of takes up a good bit of space so i just turn that off and generate traffic report and then you can hit run housekeeping personals bulletins and national traffic systems they're all set for 30 days uh read unread forwarded you know this is you just hit save. I generally leave that alone. We'll hit save this. Uh, it's a white page update. I generally don't fool with that. Stations are automatically added in saying, yes, these are allowed. Now, status, uh, there's nobody connected. That's the finish of the bulletin board system. So once again, if you need that config file, my email is good on QRZ. Send me an email, put the uh, BBS config file request or something in the subject matter, and I'll try to get it out to you. All right, everybody, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something out of it. So if you will, hit that like, subscribe button as well as the little bell to be notified of future videos as they come out. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that uh, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one chat or check out some of the other guys that's on there, there's a Discord that I stay connected to pretty much all the time. It's hosted by Temporarily Offline, and it's his Discord server. So I'll leave a link in the description below as well. Thanks for stopping by again in 7-3.